I now call to order the parish-wide drainage committee uh, for dated Tuesday, February 20th, 2018. Roll call, Miss Kathy. Yes, sir. Mr. Angelcott? Here. Mr. Bayers? Here. Mr. Guidry? Mr. Landry? Mr. McMillan? Here. Mr. White? Here. And Chairman Scott? Here. You do have a quorum. Thank you, ma'am. We'll move to item number, well, before that, I'm going to take a personal privilege and Mr. Beam, if you don't mind, I'm going to uh, call up Mr. Alberto, Alberto Galan just for one second. Thank you, Mr. Scott. Um, I just wanted to take a chance to, to recognize some students here from Suella uh, who are taking an, an American government class. Uh, so we figured we'd um, not, I'd bring them up here to learn a little bit about uh, local government, which is a little easier, maybe not easier to understand, but uh, easier to uh, to get access to uh, with their elected officials. So I just want to recognize them and their interest in, in uh, attending a public meeting uh, when it's something that impacts them directly uh, in drainage. So thank you all. Thank you, Mr. Galan. We'll welcome you all tonight. <laughs> and you'll be the tiebreaker if we need one. <laughs> With that, I need to remind everyone to please silence all electronic devices. And if you would like to speak on this uh, item tonight, we need you to fill out a blue slip and get it to Miss Jessica here in the front. With that, we'll now move to item number three. Receive report from staff to summarize a proposed phase of study for the parish-wide drainage maintenance and receive any public comment and take appropriate action thereon. Mr. Bean. Thank you, uh, Mr. Scott uh, and members of the committee. Um, before I get started, uh, Alberto gave me the first test question for the group. I'm going to give it away. They're going to need to know the difference between snagging and grubbing. <laughs> and uh, you li I've learned over the last few years more about drainage than I, I, I certainly ever thought I would, and I, I doubt I've scratched the surface. But it does go to the importance of this, uh, of, that we are now at a phase that is, uh, and I'll, I'll get into this tonight, but what we're seeking tonight is really to give you a proposal for how we go about, I think we call it phase three of the drainage management study, which has been very in depth, of course, and just get the green light, hopefully, to recommend to the full police jury our proposal for how we're going about this. Just to be clear, right out of the gate, we're asking just approval to go forward with the study of the operational uh, uh, and maintenance part of the drainage study. We're not looking for any approvals of anything as far as results of any of that. We gotta do the work first. So kind of put everybody's mind at ease. But we have a few slides. They're not gonna be that long. We'd really rather focus on any questions y'all have or comments uh, and we'll go from there. Quick background. I think we need to make sure we put all this in perspective as we go forward. Uh, y'all back in spring of 2015, y'all being the police jury, passed a full-fledged mission guiding principles and objectives, which is good. It has guided us the whole way, and it I won't read through all that, but basically I think if every step of the way we go back to this mission and say, why are we doing all this, that's what we're doing it for. We're, we want to protect people, uh, the environment, and property in regards to drainage in the parish. And we did guiding principles as well, policy objectives, and what we circled on this slide, operational objectives, that's what we meant. This phase we're wanting to start on uh, <coughs> as of March 1st, if this gets approved by the police jury, what our approach, that's really what we're talking about. And when we say operational objectives, I'll just go ahead and cut through the chase. We're talking about the drainage district system. So, uh, and that's why we've invited many are here tonight. We wanted all the districts and any of the cities to, we, we want to make sure they, they keep up the whole way. And the guiding principles, I won't read through all those. At the bottom one, though, that again, they all apply. But the one that we're talking about, we, in addition to ordinances and capital projects, we need to ask ourselves, how are we doing as far as efficiency? So that's, that's a key principle there. I don't, I realize y'all can't, at least unless you're right on it, can't read all the slides, but that's okay. Y'all seen this enough. Th this is a, a good representation though that of the big comprehensive study, we break it into three parts. 
we have completed two of the three parts. I don't mean drainage has been implemented, but the things that go forward. At the top, you've got the development standards, which you all approved in November as a jury. Uh, those will take effect in June, and we're working toward that to make sure that gets going just <coughs> fine by then. On the bottom left, you have what we call planning and projects. So the 2018 <laughs> budget has been approved with several million dollars in drainage projects we want to get started. And it also includes the watershed planning that will take two or more years. Well, I know it'll take more than that, but that's, that's the technical and engineering side, okay? And then on the bottom right is the third of the three phases we want to get started on, and that is maintenance. And so we want to make sure everybody's aware this is a piece of the puzzle that we have wanted to study from day one, and it's just that time to get there. So I know we're all eager to take a look at that. What our approach is as we go forward, I don't want to oversimplify this, but we want to update the 2005 study and expand it a bit. This is what uh, the 2005 study, and we have that available. If anybody wants it, we can forward it to them. We took a look at the maintenance side back then, district profiles and so forth. It was a good format. We think we need to go a little deeper uh, and there's a part of that study in 05, mainly that Alan worked on, that's more on the engineering stuff. We don't have to do that. That's been covered through the other phases, but we're going to take this as a starter. And then we're going to look at a several different areas of operations, and I'd just like a few moments to go through that. Um, I forgot to mention that we actually go back to 04. I, I looked, I don't want to... Uh, I'm going to pick on Alan a little. I went back to this presentation in 04, which really kind of started all this. It was 42 slides, and I think everything but the cover slide was how drainage engineering works. And it, we, we won't be that long tonight, but it really made us realize how much and how complex drainage is. What y'all did back then, though, is ask the staff to study the, the district and the structure of the districts and how they operate, and that's where this study came from in 05, and that's what it's titled, Drainage Management and Calcium Sheet Pair. So this slide here is really the key for tonight. I'm going to repeat it at the end of the presentation, but this is what we're asking the committee to recommend to the full jury for its March 1st meeting, if you are comfortable doing that tonight. As I mentioned, bullet one, we want to update the profile of the districts uh, have a map in there that really hasn't changed. What are their millages, budgets, just some basic information. But also get into certain questions and assessment of <coughs> finance, how do they do personnel, insurance, risk management, that kind of thing. So let me, this is where I want everybody to be clear of our approach. We have seven drainage districts in the parish. On those first two bullets, we're going to do that for each district. So we're taking a look and our staff, we have a lot of staff involved, get with, meet with, talk with each district about their operation, okay? All separate from any look at the overall structure. However, because it is important to look at the structure, we also will assess and make recommendations regarding, when I say the district structure, that means, okay, <laughs> look inside of each how district is operating, but let's let's take a fresh look at how the districts are set up, and is that the is that the optimal way to manage drainage in the parish in our modern day? And then we'll end with recommendations on all that. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on these next few slides, but we we need to make sure that y'all, as a committee, and certainly any districts, all the districts, understand. Well, what are we gonna what are y'all going to be asking about? And so I'm just hitting a few high points. Uh, and by the way, each of these came from their respective departments, meaning Tammy Bufkin and her staff, this is the kind of thing they're looking at. They're going to take a look at the budget, at the annual audit. There's some basic things about, okay, what do their finances look like? Our approach, guys, is no different from what we do internally with our own folks. If you're trying to say, okay, what is this? It's no big mystery. It's how are things run and against best practices, how do they look? So things like inventory, how do you keep up with your assets, that kind of thing. 
We're also going to look at human resources. Christina Joyce Wilson, our HR director, very helpful in this. You know, how, do you have a compensation plan? Do you, how do you do evaluations of employees? How do you maintain documents? A lot of these are very routine, common questions. We just got to carry out our marching orders from the police jury to evaluate operations. Risk management, which is also insurance is a part of that. That's a big cost for, for everybody these days, whether it's workers' comp or auto coverage, liability, what have you, um, health insurance. And we'll learn a lot more, and it'll be helpful for them, helpful for y'all. Operations policies and those, uh, that category comes mainly under Alan and his team. Um, your day-to-day, -day, how do you do work orders? How do you schedule things? How often should you maintain certain laterals, et cetera? He'll be kind of hitting that part up. So um, this is really just in written form, but this is what we're recommending. I'm going to, this is a repeat of the slide from earlier, and other than the timeline slide, this will really be all we have, and we'll open it up for any questions. But let me go ahead and look at this slide, um, Mr. Chairman. It, can't see that, I apologize, a little small, but tonight is the 20th. We're at the drainage committee meeting. We are, we are comfortable proposing this. It's really more of a green light on, hey guys, we're ready to do this phase, but because it's been a long time since we kind of went through the ordinances and all, let's, we want your blessing. Hey, this is good, go forth. We want everybody to know what we're doing. We think y'all could recommend the approach uh, and have the police jury approve it on the first we have we have not scheduled it formally but for those who are here and we'll probably do this maybe as early as tomorrow if y'all if y'all do a recommendation but we're going to set up a meeting with the districts and just ask them all probably come down to this room not not a public meeting just say let's cover in more detail what we're talking about before anything goes on i think the more we do up front it's so much better for them and for us and y'all. So that's our approach. So with that, Mr. Chairman, I, I'll kind of wrap up and let y'all ask any questions about what we're proposing. And if it's okay, I'll, I didn't mean to do that. Um, I'll leave it on that slide because that's really the, the recommendation that we're seeking. All right, thank you, Mr. Beam. Uh, with that, any discussion from the jurors? Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. I have no blue slips at this time. Well, with that, I just want to, Mr. Beam, so tonight we're just simply approving to look at a study to find out recommendations. There are no recommendations right now. We're clearly trying to move this committee forward to the police jury for full consideration of a study. Yes, sir. Uh, I left out, uh, there's one thing it's not on the slides our our timeline and we didn't want to get too ahead of ourselves but in case somebody's wondering if this if this got approved for example on March 1st to go forward and that's all you're asking yes that's we're asking you to approve us to do this phase of the study we believe in 90 days we can complete this so June 1st uh, if you know if something comes up where we need to look at something we didn't know or y'all ask us something we need to be flexible but at that point we would come back to you with recommendations to this committee and at that point is when everybody any input citizens will go back to we will make sure we reach out to all the groups the districts cities development community landowners, uh, engineers, and say, look, this is here, it's done, what input do you have? The stakeholder input has been big the whole time, but we would, you know, the evaluation of the study is that's where the, you know, it's when you get down to brass tacks, but right now, we just need some time to do the work. So there's, there's no, we won't be coming to you with any decisions you need to do in the next 90 days. Thank you, Mr. Bean. Mr. Andrew Pond. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Brian, I was glad to hear you say that you're having a meeting with uh, the, the people who are involved directly with drainage. And I think if you check the record, you'd find that uh, 
that's been my position all along that I feel like if we get to the source by bringing in those who uh, are faced with the, the problems on a daily basis and uh, feed off of that. And um, uh, I, I know, and I've said it before and I'll say it again, the drainage problem in South Lake Charles is not the same drainage problem as it is in Carlos and so on. I'm just using that as an example. So parish-wide, uh, and I hope we can stay on schedule and do what we need to do. I was surprised there were no blue slips. Uh, that's why I said later I was going to listen to the comments from the general public. But there being none, uh, I just want this done right and as much input as we can. And we've gotten a lot of input from the big landowners and developers and so on and so forth. But I think the key is to bring in the, the gravity drainage board, um, people who are involved on a daily basis. I don't know I'm being <coughs> redundant now, but uh, I'm glad to see that uh, you're, you're meeting with them one on one. Thank you, Mr. Andrew Pond. If it's okay, Mr. Chairman, I, just to address Go a ahead, point he made, up, uh, he, he made. Uh, and I, I want to give credit to Alan. On, it's probably more on the operational side. On the 26th, and, and we think that's going to be like at 530. I think we're going to be pretty set on that date. It's not just covering detail about, well, well, here's what we're looking at. It's to hear their input and say, well, look, while you're doing this, could you look at this too? There's going to be things maybe we haven't thought of that they want us to think about. And that still gives us time before the police jury would do the approval on the first that we're happy to make sure we do. I, they have worked very well with us and cities and with Alan and that coalition going back middle of last year, <coughs> late last year. And so we've made so much progress on the other parts and I, I, I feel like that has been critical. So I, I, I totally want, I just want to affirm what you're saying that that is so important up front because they're going to have some as you said they know more about those lateral than anybody and we got to make sure we look at the right things so. well as a, for an example you don't go to an accountant if you want to remodel your kitchen you go to an architect and i think you're going to the source of those who uh, again uh, work with this on a daily basis i think is a smart move with that i yield back to the chairman thank you mr andrew Pont. uh president barris barris thank you Chairman Scoop. <laughs> At the end of the day, you know, it's, it's the old saying, you're only going to get as much out of it as what you put into it. So I'm speaking to the development community, the drainage, uh, the employees of the drainage district, the board members. Um, participation is key. Uh, you know, you guys look at it from a totally different perspective, and um, we want to know that perspective. We deal with, uh, you know, our street side drainage is, t is a totally different animal. So, you know, if we're missing something, please say it. You know, if, if we're not considering something or taking a certain factor into consideration, throw a flag, let us know, okay? Um, this is a fact-finding thing only. We just, it's a study like you said, but studies are so generic. It's, you know, we want to we get down to best practices and, and, and it's all about efficiency at the end of the day. Actually, it's all about drainage, but you know, through, through efficiency, we're gonna have our optimum drainage that, that, uh, that we're all after. So please, Share with your fellow board members. I appreciate everybody that showed up tonight. I know everybody can't always come every time, but you know, everybody, uh, the more eyes we, we have on this, uh, the better it's gonna end up. Thank you, sir. Mr. White. Um, just to give an example of what occurred this week for me, um, I had to get uh, one of my gravity district guys to go out to a, a development that's happening in Moss Bluff and one of my parish guys. Um, parish could do work on that ditch that needed to be done. We clean culvert out, but when it come to the district, didn't have the right of way to access to do anything with the ditch. With the parish and the districts working together the way we're trying to work together, this is the, the what everybody's talking about. Where's your master plan at? Well, we have to have all these steps to have a master plan, and this is just another step for us to ha develop a master plan. And I, and I 
very much appreciate the fact that our guys work as hard as they do. And for us all to come together, I think it would be a great thing. Thank you. you'll go. Yeah, I'd like, just like to say that communication is the key. We all want everybody's input, as it's been said time and time again. Timelines are up there, but if we need to take a little more time, an extra month or so to make sure we work it out, we're going to work it out. We want your input. We want to make sure we do it right. With that being said, I'd like to make a recommendation to approve staff's proposal for conducting Sorry. the operational assessment phase <clears throat> of the parish-wide management study. I have a motion by Mr. McMillan, a second by Mr. White. Do we have any other discussion? Any objection? That motion carries. Moved to adjourn. We are adjourned. I need a second. 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 We're adjourned.